Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video. Uh, Mr. Mordo just had his way with me, so got some Slayer XP at least. I only need one more lamp for 46 Slayer, which is pretty sick. But anyways, I've been fishing a lot. I'm at 74 now, and I've mostly been fishing lobsters. But I did an actual test today, and I tested lobsters and I tested tuna and swordfish. And I'm gonna share with you guys the results. But keep in mind that I did this at 73 fishing. I just got 74 recently which is pretty low and I'm going to do it again at higher levels just to test and see how big of a difference it makes and everything. So first I did a half hour test of lobsters and it came out to be 23,400 XP per hour which is pretty shit to be honest. I mean uh, doing Shiloh is at least twice as fast um, and I that ended up being 260 lobsters per hour uh, which comes out to about 60k GP profit per hour which is also pretty shit. I really the only reason I'm doing this is because I want to stack up lobsters and I'm actually thinking that I might go to Shiloh and uh, stay there until somewhere in the 80s and then come back to here when it's a bit faster for fishing lobsters because 100k lobsters is my goal I want to get a stack of 100k lobsters and um, that's 9 million fishing XP so I still have 4 million fishing XP left over so I could go to Shiloh for the next like 3 mil XP and still be fine um, to get that 100k stack by level 99, so I might actually be doing that. It just depends on what I feel like. Cause Shallow's a little bit less AFK because you have to run around a bit more. But this is really bad XP, so it's kind of a waste of time at this point. But anyways, uh, n the next test I did was with tuna and swordfish, and this came out to actually being a little bit more than lobsters at this level. Anyways, it was 24,280 XP per hour, and that came out to be 146 tuna per hour and 126 swordfish per hour. And the GP per hour is a little bit less, it's only 55k, but it's not a huge difference. So you might want to consider actually doing tuna and swordfish instead. I mean, you won't get the nice stack of uh, lobsters, you'll have two fish, but it's a little bit more XP, a little bit less GP, so it's sort of up to you for that one. So as far as fishing goes, the only thing I'm probably not going to be doing is drop fishing, just because it doesn't profit you anything, and I mostly am aiming to profit, that's why this series is called Skills for Mills. So... Any, pretty much the sky's the limit besides dropping so if you guys want me to test anything else regarding fishing then I'll be sure to do that and I'll be testing the same things at higher levels just to see how much they change and everything um, at level 76 I will test out sharks to see how they are right at 76 and they're probably going to be terrible but I'll just do like a half hour test just to see and then I'll test those again like mid 80s and then 90 and then 99 probably and same for the other fish um, so that's it for fishing really um, and probably next video I'll do a woodcutting one, I'll do views and magic trees at 99 and then I'll do other ones with uh, maples and willows and maybe even oaks, I'm not sure and I could test mahogany even if I can even do mahogany I'm not sure, that would be a bit interesting and anything else that profits really that I can do on a level 3 just let me know if you guys want me to test anything in specific and I'll try to do that so anyways, I've been getting more subscribers recently, and it's just going out faster and faster, and I'd like to thank everyone for subscribing. Probably going to be hitting 100 subs pretty soon, which is really sick. So thank you everyone for subscribing, and I apologize that I haven't had a video out in the past couple days. It's just because I've been really busy. I had work, and I had more work, <laughs> and then I had school work. <coughs> so that's pretty much my weekends, but I did manage to find some time now, and I've just been AFKing, fishing, and doing some Clash of Clans. And I've actually been playing RuneScape 3 also. I've just been fire making with bonfires and I'm, a, I'm pretty close to 20 mil fishing, I mean 20 mil fire making so I'll probably hit that tonight but I did actually get rank 1 in my clan in Clash of Clans also it was, it's just a clan of people in my school it's a phone game if you guys don't know it's a pretty big phone game try it out for free if you want it's kinda fun but I mostly just wanted to play it to get rank 1 <laughs> in my school and that was pretty easy there's nobody that really like grinds phone games in my school besides me because I'm a nerd but anyways so that was fun and I'll probably actually keep playing that and get myself even higher so nobody can ever pass me um, and my car is really nice it runs really smooth but the service engine light is on so I don't really know what that means I'll have to take it into the shop I think because in Massachusetts we have a law called the lemon law which is a colloquial term a lemon is like a term used to describe a car that somebody sold you that turns out to be a piece of crap like somebody sells you a car and like the frame is warped or something you don't know it and they don't tell you and that's considered a lemon <laughs> I don't really know where that came from but anyways the Massachusetts lemon law says that if you're if somebody sells you a car they have to insure it for like a certain amount of time for like for your repairs if they're a dealer I think 
if they're not a dealer, I don't know if it applies, but I have 30 days for my car. If anything serious goes wrong, then it'll be repaired for free. Or, I'll, like, if my car just explodes or something, then I'll get a refund, <laughs> as long as I'm still alive. My parents actually bought me a really nice keyboard, a Yamaha uh, piano keyboard for my birthday, not a computer keyboard. <laughs> um, and I just got it today, uh, no, yesterday. So I've been playing that a lot, and it's actually quite nice. It feels very similar to a real piano. I mean, I got a pedal attachment, and I have like a stool and everything for it. And it has like a stand that makes it look sort of like a weird upright piano. And so I've been learning this song by a... It's like an outro song by the symphonic death metal band. I'll post the link to the song in the description, but it's all piano. And it's like the out outro to their one of their albums. And it's just piano, and the rest of their music is like super crazy death metal. But that song is pretty sick, and I've learned the first, like, 40 seconds of it or so, and then it gets way harder, so I'll see how far I get in that, but it's pretty fun to play. I haven't been able to play piano in a while, and I've actually been playing, like, I started playing when I was 8 years old. I took lessons for, like, 3 or 4 years, and then I stopped taking lessons and sort of gradually uh, toned down how much I played. But I've kind of missed it, and since I moved to about 6 months ago, I haven't even had a piano to play at all, so it's kind of nice to have a keyboard. And it feels very similar to a piano, actually. It's nice enough that it has like weighted keys and everything. And Yamaha is well known for their high quality keyboards and pianos. If I ever get to the point where I can actually play that song consistently, like all the way through, then I'll probably make a video just of me playing that song. And I may make videos in the future of me playing other songs on the piano. If you guys have any requests, as always, let me know. Uh, I can play fairly complicated stuff, but it usually takes me a while to learn things because I'm not really fast at reading music, so I usually the way I play is I read the music and I struggle through it a few times, and then after that I have it memorized, and I don't even look at the music at all, and that's why I'm so bad at reading music is because I, and my mind just like doesn't want to do it. My my brain, <coughs> my brain finds it easier to uh, just memorize the music rather than try to read it every single time I'm looking at it, and that's just how my brain works. I don't really know why. So I'm really bad at reading music, but once I learn things, I get them in muscle memory, and I've played pretty complicated songs over the years and stuff. But I might actually try to learn some RuneScape songs or something like that. I've seen a lot of videos of various people playing RuneScape songs on their keyboards and stuff, and I think that'd be kind of cool to try. Especially like Newbie Melody or something like that, like Harmony, the really like classic RuneScape songs. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I always find doing tests like these kind of interesting and you probably, if you're doing lobsters, you might want to think about doing tuna and swordfish because it seems like they're actually better in general. I mean only marginally, but if you're doing fishing for like a bazillion hours to do this to 99, then you might as well get it a little bit faster since it's pretty much the same. I mean if you're higher fishing than me, you probably are. You still want to test it and everything. And you can do these tests easily yourself. Just set a half hour timer and record how much XP you have before and after and you can see how fast it is um, but anyways guys thanks a lot for watching hope you guys enjoyed uh, please leave a like if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you guys next time